is January 16th. Pastor is saying to us, courageously declare his word. Our opening scripture comes to the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 6. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Our underlying portion above, boldly say, is thario ligo, Greek, and it means to courageously declare. Ligo means to say or speak, but it also means to boast. God said something so that we could courageously declare or boastfully affirm the same thing. This is amazing. That was exactly what Jesus did when he encountered Satan in Matthew chapter 4. He said, it is written, Matthew chapter 4 verse 7. It shows us that the way to respond to life circumstances is with the scriptures. For example, when you say, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world, you are responding with the word. You are courageously affirming the word. That verse doesn't exactly say, greater is he that is in me. Rather, it says, greater is he that is in you. But in response, you personalize it. That's when it becomes rhema. Glory to God. God gave us the scriptures so we could speak them forth. The word of God created all things. Therefore, everything in life responds to the spoken word from your lips. The principle is, the word in your heart and in your mouth, you release the power of God into action in your behalf through speaking. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I'm a winner all the time. I live over and above all limitations and circumstances. There's no situation I can't change because my tongue is a tree of life with which I guarantee my health, success, safety, wellness, and wholeness. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Proverbs chapter 15, verse 23, Romans chapter 10, verse 10, and Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 12, verses 1 to 21, and Genesis chapters 38 to 39. For the two-year Bible reading plan, Please read Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34, and Genesis chapter 16. Rhapsody of reality.